Hey everybody, Steve here at the Home of Peace Cemetery in East Los Angeles. And with Christmas right around the corner, I thought I would share with you the sad story of Susan Berman, a mobster's daughter who was killed on Christmas Eve. It's possible that she was killed the day before and just her body was found on Christmas Eve. Either way, right before Christmas, a day or so before Christmas, she was murdered execution style, possibly by a very, very famous criminal and friend. I'm guessing that many of you have already heard the name Susan Berman and know the story even. Susan Berman was a journalist and an author and a famous mobster's daughter. Her dad was David Berman and they're now laid to rest here at the Home of Peace Mausoleum just a couple of crypts away from each other. His nickname was Davy the Jew and he was partners with Bugsy Siegel in running the Flamingo Hotel in Las Vegas. When Bugsy was murdered, David stepped right in and took over the operation. Susan Berman spent much of her career writing about her father and his life as a mobster. And I guess it shouldn't be a surprise that if you're the daughter of a mobster, you probably grow up with some very interesting friends. And one of her longtime friends just happened to be Robert Durst. If that name rings a bell, it's because Robert Durst became famous because he was the heir to a New York real estate dynasty. And back in 1982, his wife disappeared, Kathleen McCormick Durst. Does that name ring a bell? It's a cold case that still hasn't been solved today. Many believe that Durst murdered his wife and did away with her body, but he was never caught and the charges were never proven. On December 24th, the year 2000, Susan Berman, who was 55, was found murdered in her Beverly Hills home. She was shot execution style and Robert Durst was convicted of her murder. He was convicted of first degree murder and is now serving a life sentence here in California. He's currently 78 years old. There have been movies and books made about him. And just in the past year or two, there was a movie made about him called The Jinx. Have any of you seen The Jinx? Some of you who have been watching my channel for a while might recognize this mausoleum because this is also where Shemp from the Three Stooges is laid to rest. As you can see, his crypt is located here, just inside the corridor on the wall to the right-hand side. And I was first here to visit his final resting place back in 2018. Susan Berman wasn't murdered and interred here until two years later. Susan's dad, David, was interred here back in 1957, which was two years after Shemp had been interred here. David Berman's crypt is located all the way to the end of this corridor, just to the left of this stained glass window, just two crypts this side of the window. And Susan's crypt, as you can see here, is in the first row right next to the wall. As I'm sure I've mentioned many times before, I always find it very fascinating to see which famous people are laid to rest next to which other famous people in some of our cemeteries here in the Los Angeles area. And if they happen to be living at the same time, I always wonder if they knew each other while they were still alive. According to her Find a Gray Memorial page, Susan was born on May 18, 1945 in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And they have her date of death listed as December 24th, Christmas Eve, 2000, at the age of 55 in Beverly Hills. Another source I read indicated that she probably was killed the day before and her body was discovered on December 24th. So I'm not really sure which date is correct. Her crypt reminds me a lot of Rudolph Valentino's crypt, which is over at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. He's also on the left-hand side like this, next to the wall of the mausoleum and a beautiful stained glass window. Just to the left of Susan's crypt is the crypt of Charles Berman, who was born in 1908 and died in 1978, so I'm guessing that he might be her uncle, possibly David Berman's younger brother. I wasn't able to find any information about him listed online. Then two crypts to the left of Susan is her father, David Berman. David reportedly died in Las Vegas from a heart attack on June 16, 1957, at the young age of either 53 or 54, while he was having polyps removed from his colon. Susan believed, however, that he died under mysterious circumstances, but was never able to prove it. In her dad's line of work, who could blame her for being suspicious? 
Then to the left of her father is her mother, Gladys Betty Berman. It's nice to see that they were a close family before and after death. Betty Berman died shortly after her husband and she was only 39 years old. Her cause of death was listed as an overdose, but many believe that it was actually a mob hit because she refused to relinquish control of his Las Vegas casinos after his death. You'd never know by looking at this picture of Susan and her parents when she was a child that all three of them would meet such tragic ends. This week I want to give a shout out and a very big thank you to my newest Patreon supporter, Larissa. Thank you so much, Larissa, for your extra generous donation to my channel. It is very appreciated and definitely helps make future trips like this possible. I also want to give a big shout out to all of my many new subscribers and to all of you who take the time to leave comments and to give thumbs up to my videos. I really couldn't ask for a better group of fellow graveyard enthusiasts. It's funny how trips like this to the cemetery really do remind us to not take a single day for granted. So enjoy your holidays, everyone. Be thankful to be alive. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. And until next time, thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.